Hey man. What's up? Ooh, nothing much. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Lake Penier? Have Pen- you? Penier? Pen Penier? Pen Penier. 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 Have you ever heard of Lake Penier? You're making that up. <laughs> it's Pino. No. Just say Pino. No. You want me to spell it to you? Lake Pino spell, I'll spell Grigio. It. You pronounce it. Ready? Pino Grigio. P E I G N E U R. P E I G N E N E R. U R. U R. Penua. Pen Penua. Penur. 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 Lake Penur. Lake P. <laughs> Lakey P. <laughs> I've heard of some Lake P's before. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Growing up in Stockton Lake, uh, you know, sometimes I had my fair share. The boats are starting to get sucked into the whirlpool as well. There's it's one a, skier out there. It's like, you guys are not going to believe like, this way. Wave, this way, bro. This, this is crazy, crazy, man. Again, I cannot get over. <laughs> How just not drownable this lake is. <laughs> I love that there's an inside <laughs> joke here <laughs> that we're not going to tell. Things I learned last night. Uh, no, have you heard of Lake? Obviously <laughs> not. Why? What do you need me? Like, what, is this like a freaking. <laughs> What is this? Uh, a, a sales call where you need it me is. to like affirmatively say yes. yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes I'm I've on a recorded it. line. I've I need a verbal. Yes. What am I? The exit row right now? We're like, I need a verbal. Yes. I need a verbal yes from you. Can you come? Okay, to just go along with this. This, this is what I'm talking about. All right, dude. here it is. Um, so you'll notice in this map uh, a red outlined lake. I do see that's the, the lake yeah. we're talking about. It's a, it's a little south of Lafayette, uh, Louisiana. Okay, uh, and so Louisiana. Yes, just like that. That kind of Louisiana. Um, that's where this is. Located. Yeah. Do you know how to spell Louisiana? Uh, and it's near the city of Earth, spelled wrong. Arath, Arath. Okay. Um, Louisiana. Uh, so this is a lake that's not a huge lake, but it's not a small lake. Um, and it's connected to this canal that you can kind of see in this map that runs out to the ocean. It runs all the way to the ocean. Okay. Uh, that's an important fact to to remember um, about sure. this lake. Um, so this lake. Uh, I'll write it down. <laughs> yeah, write that down. Don't forget it. Uh, this lake was a significant lake because beneath the lake um, there is what's known as a salt dome. Um, and so this is a graphic <laughs> of what a salt dome looks like. Okay. Uh, and so basically um, many feet below the surface, like a thousand feet below the surface of the, the bottom of the lake. There's a dome of salt. This is not the lake. This is a different salt dome. Yeah. Graph. But yeah, 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 yeah. So in our situation, instead of those trees up there, it's we lake. would have water. Yeah, it's a lake. How deep is the lake? So the lake is is interesting. It's it's a pretty shallow lake. At the deepest point, it's eleven feet. The average depth is three feet. So it's yeah, shallow. eleven feet. That's yeah. a pond. Yeah, this is a shallow lake, but it's pretty large. It's it's larger than a pond in terms of surface area. They got no diving signs. You can't dive <laughs> in that. I mean, I guess you can't dive in the the three feet one. But its surface depth is a hundred or eleven hundred acres. Um, is its surface depth. So it's not a small lake by any means. You you couldn't call it a pond, but it's shallow. It's a shallow it's a lake. Surface depth? Surface area. That's what I meant. Okay. Surface area. You said it twice where I was like, <laughs> are you surface area? Kind of dumb under- stuff are you saying? <laughs> it's surface area is okay, so acres. underneath this <laughs> eleven foot lake <laughs> is a salt dome. Salt dome. Yeah. And um, does the water touch the salt? No, there's about a thousand feet of Earth between okay. the salt dome and so why the lake? even talk about the lake? <laughs> it, even on this graph, the lake would barely matter. Yeah, it's true. Actually, um, here's the significant thing about salt dumps, though. So salt dumps, obviously, they're a big area that's full of salt, but it's like hard yeah. salt, like it's like yeah. rock salt, like, like my rock arteries. Salt <laughs> dude, my sodium intake, crazy, <laughs> dude. Bro, I think about that sometimes. I think about all the McDonald's I used to eat, and yeah. that's just straight up sodium. Yeah, you, you know, know how much salt I got in my veins. Bro, I got some salt. In my veins. About, I got the Salt Life sticker on my car, <laughs> and it'll Man. also be on my death certificate. They got a Texas Roadhouse. I just cut myself to get some salt because their steaks are not salty enough. 
See, you see how it makes it weird. All right, I look over at Alex, and Alex is like, "What are you talking about? Are you suggesting?" So you no, can't let's do, not. Let's so stay on it. Do that here. Alex's schedule is clear. Here. We don't got to get out of here. Like, you're saying that you are going to take the steak knife and you're going to gash your arm open and then let it drip <laughs> on your steak. They they come out and they're like, "How's everything? Did you cut into that? And make sure Whoa, it looks done? that's well done. You there cut, shouldn't be any you, blood on that. You cut into that it. That shouldn't be red at all." And like, "Can I get you anything else?" And you're like, "Ah, oh, there's no salt in the table." Can I have some pepper, please? You know it's okay. I brought my own. <laughs> I do want some pepper. <laughs> you cut your hand like it's one of those rituals. I have <laughs> fresh ground pepper and fresh cut salt. <laughs> I'm so Imagine that. Why a, did you make that first so weird? Stop. What are you doing? What are you talking about? You slit your own throat. What are you talking about? Like you're just like it oh, makes it oh, taste oh. better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's not enough blood in my steak. Don't worry. I got some. <laughs> So there's a salt dome yeah, under, the, under lake. the lake. It's a bunch of salt, but it's hard salt. It's rock salt, um, but it's still salt. And the thing about salt domes. So that that salt dome right there is a solid piece of salt is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. solid, solid salt. Okay, um, but the thing about salt domes that's significant is nine times out of ten. If there's a salt dome, there's also an oil deposit around it. So you'll notice okay, I see the gas in this graph there's there. some gas and oils near sure. the salt dome. There's also green bricks. That's where we get green bricks. <laughs> you ever seen green bricks? Sure. That's, that's near the salt dome. Uh, but uh, it, oil uh, it means money. Um, oh. And so in the 80s, 19, 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, on November twentieth, nineteen eighty, uh, Texaco had uh, contracted an oil rig um, from like a lo- local oil company Kay. to begin looking for oil in this salt mine. Um, How do they the find the salt dome? That's a good question. I don't know. There's, there's a. We have a repository. Like a little, like a, like a little salt detector, and there's just some old guy out there looking for salt on the beach. Well, it's 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 everybody who's got a big salt content in their blood. They go, they cut themselves I'm the, around. I'm magnetized toward it. <laughs> yeah, you walk over there. all day. I'm like, <laughs> there must be a salt dome over here. Is there a salt dome in your town? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know how they know, but we do have like record of where these are. There's a lot in the Gulf area. Yeah, all of them are mined for oil. Sure. Um, and so I don't know how they found out about it, but they knew that this was here. And so uh, they they said, hey, let's go. Let's go try to see if there's some okay. oil down there. Um, and so because this is in a lake, they had to bring an actual oil rig out on this lake. And this is a big ish lake, but it's not a big lake, you know? And so like, can you imagine like like, and I mean, is, you can <laughs> stay. It goes up to your knees. I know. <laughs> and can you imagine? Like, this is like, this is right next to a town. I'm going to take a screenshot of the map. Um, this is this was a like a campground D lake. Like, there's a campground right next to it. Um, there's uh, a town right by. It's called Peñur. Del Cambre. Peñur. Peñur. Yeah. Um, and and so <laughs> like entrepreneur. Peñur. Yeah. And this gives you a good idea of how big the lake is too. Like sure, the freeways, you see like the, the town. size of the town. Yeah, and, and they just put this oil rig out in the middle of it. Oh, um, Rip Van Winkle Gardens. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's where that is. Yeah, I heard of that. <laughs> uh, so they uh, they bring this oil rig out there, and they bring their barges into this lake to to set up the oil rig. They set up the oil rig and they start doing the test digs to try to see if they can find some oil down there. Um, and uh, this was November. What did I say? Twentieth, yeah. November twentieth, nineteen eighty. Um, they are they're digging at several different levels, trying to find this this oil uh, deposit that they think is there. And they're about fifteen hundred feet into the earth looking for oil when the drill gets stuck, and which is a fairly common thing. And these are these are expert oil drillers. So, sure. So they start trying to unstick this thing. They spend about two hours trying to unstick this drill. Um, and they hear two loud pops. And they go, "This is the Earth's drill now." <laughs> <laughs> uh, they hear two loud pops, and the oil rig starts to tilt. And so they all evacuate the oil rig. Um, so it doesn't doesn't fall over. 
in the 11 foot deep water. <laughs> Again, I cannot get over <laughs> how just not drownable this lake is. <laughs> not drownable. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> well, that's one of the most significant things. The public this lake pool to in me. Mount Vernon, Missouri had a depth of 13 feet <laughs> in the diving area. <laughs> Deeper than the deepest part of this <laughs> lake. I can't. I hate this. Uh, you can't take a boat on that. Well, they, there's plenty of people who took boats out. They They're had dumb. barges out on this because they brought this thing. They brought this. Uh, okay. Oil rig. So they decoupled the barges and they loaded in the barges and they left the the rig and they. You know, that's the they, lake's rig now. Yeah, they took the they took the. It's the la- it's, what is it? The leaning oil rig of <laughs> Lafayette? Is that what they got out there now? <laughs> so they got in their ships, and because this lake, I mean, this lake is a, a decent size lake. Sure. Um, but it's not huge, so like they really just rotated the their barges, and then they were at land, and they all unloaded, um, and they watched as something very peculiar happened. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. If you like it, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Uh, Speaking of future episodes, we have a ton of past episodes. Uh, We have a back catalog of well over 100 episodes. Uh, So check those out. My current favorite is Nellie Bly. She was a journalist from the early 1900s who totally changed the industry, especially for women in the industry. Super cool story, but also kind of crazy. Uh, some of the things that she did. Uh, we had a lot of fun in that episode, so check that out. Uh, don't for- forget to subscribe, but ultimately just thanks for being here. Um, the oil rig instead of just tipping over and stopping sunk all the way and they were confused because this is an 11 foot deep lake. What do you mean sunk? Like the whole thing got swallowed by the lake. Like the entire oil rig sunk into the lake. <laughs> uh, and so they're on land. This is starting to sound a little drownable. They're they're on land. Beginning to become pretty concerned about what's going on here because they were pretty confident that this is an eleven foot deep lake. And yeah. that is a 170 foot tall oil rig that is now yes. sunk all the way into the lake. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, so they're on the shore. They're watching this happen. Very peculiar scenario. Don't can't understand it either. Either this is a telescopic uh, oil rig where it's like folding in on itself or they're wrong. Or there's a or they just missed a zero <laughs> on the <laughs> Depth, the depth of the lake. <laughs> yeah, this is something strange is happening here, right? Uh, meanwhile, um, uh, a few thousand feet below, um, would they cave in one of the below their feet? Is the Diamond Crystal Salt Company salt mine? Yeah, they caved um, it in. So there was a mine that was mining um, the lake, um, and this went down um, thousands of feet. Below ground, where they were mining the salt, and they had shafts um, because so this tower is is what is the salt mine, or is this the oil rig? That's the there? lake, and the, yeah, that's the oil rig in the lake. Okay, the lake, and so the, uh, there's people mining salt in the salt mine, miners, if you will, <laughs> yep. adult adult if miners, you will, <laughs> adult miners mining some salt, and they begin to notice there's some water flowing through the mine. Uh, and so one of the foremen in the mine sounds the alarms and is like, we probably should leave. This isn't a normal. Um, we are an assault mine that is below a lake. Um, and so they, they sound the alarms. They start moving back to this elevator shaft. So on the far end of this graphic, you'll see this big shaft that goes all the way up to Jefferson Island, which is not an island. They call it Jefferson Island. It's a peninsula. Are you talking about the air shaft on the left side or like the long shaft, the long on, the shaft right side? on the far end? Okay. Uh, at that end of the, the mine, there's there's an elevator. Um, there's about 50 miners working in there at the time. Um, and they start heading towards this elevator to evacuate. The problem was this elevator was only uh, only eight people could fit in the elevator. It's pretty slow. You're moving a thousand feet yeah. underground. So people start loading in. They start they start filling up. Um, meanwhile, the foreman is driving his his golf cart 
around. I don't think it was a golf cart. It was a, a sure mining cart, but tell the golf story cart. Tim. Oh my God. <laughs> picture a golf cart. Here's the thing. The when Tim gets to an exciting part of the story, like something that like matters. He always just goes. It's like a golf cart. It's like a it's like one of those like you put like big wheels on a golf cart. And it's like just, might as well be like an RC car. Just like you're like, what are you? T-? And then when he gets to like boring parts of the story, he's just like going on through <laughs> and I try to make a dumb joke to maybe lighten it up a little bit and he's like, yeah, we're still talking about this boring crap and then it's like oh, there's 50 miners whose lives are in danger and there's only eight people who can fit on an elevator at the time and now they're on a time and crunch this guy and here he is cart. on his lift kitted golf cart. He's just driving around. It's got a little don't tread on me flag, you know, he's uh-huh. like out there. Yeah. yeah. And he's asking if anyone wants to play golf with. What him. are you stupid? Tell like, me the story. Everyone's like, I don't want to play golf. Can you give me a ride? And so yeah, he's picking up. He's finding all the people who didn't know that the alarm was going off. Like, because uh, all there's, the deaf people or what? Well, <laughs> there's parts <laughs> they of the can't mine. Hear the- there's parts of the mine where they had dug far enough, but they hadn't installed them the alarm oh, yet. Okay. So it's like a fresh mine area. Sure, sure, sure. And so he was finding all these people who maybe didn't didn't hear it or weren't aware Great. that the alarm was going off. Uh, and so he's going around trying to find all these people. Uh, meanwhile, up at the surface, uh, the uh, oil diggers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, is that what you call them? the riggers? <laughs> the oil drillers? The oil people? The oil oil man? Oil the oily man? Boys, the oily boys? The oily boys? <laughs> the oily boys were watching. Their rig had completely sunk, and a um, a quarter mile wide whirlpool had formed in the center of this lake. Oh, it's all draining into the mine, right? Yeah. Yeah, Uh, and it's becoming so intense that it's spreading out to the edges. You know, that's what's underneath the Bellagio fountain. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's just a salt mine. It's It's just like bubbled up. Yeah, and that's that's the guy with the golf cart just down there freaking doing donuts (laughs) and it's like it makes the water go to you You know, it's him and Howie down there. (laughs) Hey, and if, if if it's never enough, he's like, "Hey, can you go swim That's out there?" How he got that job? For a second. Not Howie. <laughs> yeah. Not but Howie. Howie got, how he got, got that, that job? job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, not it, so Howie's obviously he got the job. Obviously, he's a celebrity. Yeah, Howie. Mandel. But this foreman got the job because he was actually one of the case people on uh, on Deal or No Deal. On the, the yeah, no Deal. Like, yeah, and he had experience. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's the, he did it at the nineteen eighties. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, so. The whirlpool is getting so big that it's now like r- running up against the coast of the the lake, and it's ripping parts of the coast off. Like with all it. the water is just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, and it's like ripping parts of the coast and pulling entire buildings along the coast into no. this whirlpool. And so these people are backing up because how strong is the whirlpool? What I mean, if you think about it, like you remember. <laughs> Let's hear where this goes. <laughs> you remember when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> I I love that there's an inside <laughs> joke here that we're not going to tell. No, I, <laughs> but no, you remember when you were a kid and. <laughs> I want to tell the story. This is something relatable. Uh, <laughs> Crying. Go ahead. You remember when you were a kid and you were building your train town and train town <laughs> and you needed a lake in your train town. Yeah. So you built your train town over uh, the bathtub <laughs> over the bathtub with some Lincoln logs and you put it over the bathtub. Yeah. Uh, and then you filled it up with water so you have your lake and your trains going around and your mom sees you and she's like you can't put a train an electric train in the bathtub. You're going to fry yourself and you're like those are the risks I take (laughs) as a city builder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's talk to OSHA like what am I supposed to do mom? Yeah, yeah, my hands are tied. (laughs) My hands are tied. I'm I'm just here to do my job. I'm just doing my job. Start talking like a foreman. (laughs) You know, I left deal or no deal do this. She's like, where have you learned all these She's words? Like, okay, and so she pulls the plug, and then and the goes, whirlpool sh- forms. It does pull. I, I guess. Yeah, and I it guess. pulls the buildings from your town down the drain, sure. and you lose your town. And yeah. your mom, you tell down your mom the drain. You tell your mom. You you said that was my home. I've been building that home. I've been saving up for it for thirty years. I haven't even insured it yet. I don't have. She's like train town. How am I supposed More to like get this More like drain town. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to drain town. <laughs> oh wow! All right. 
So yeah, so it starts. Drano's coming. not going to fix that, by the way. Like you got Lincoln Logs and a train in there. Yeah, it's it's cl- you're gonna yeah. have to call. She's yeah, you got to call a plumber. It's a good thing her house was was insured because yeah. that backed up the sewer line. And that plumber stole her bush. <laughs> <laughs> Tim had some plumbing work done in his house, and that yeah. guy destroyed one of the bushes in his front yard. I came. He didn't mention it. I came home. Didn't say a word. Came home and one of my bushes was just gone. Yeah, and I was like. <laughs> I think this guy just stole one of my bushes. It wasn't even like it was. It'd be a really fun calling card as a plumber <laughs> to go fix someone's sink and then just, and then just take a bush. steal a bush. <laughs> you can just get just because you can, you know, just because you can get away with I'm it. Pretty sure my plumber stole my bush. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, you're 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 playing a game of Clue. Game of, yeah. Well, your mailman yeah. and your plumber anyway. Yeah, have you seen any beach lately? What what's, what's the plural of bush? <laughs> Go to his house is under his bed. I think it's like Jebs. thirty bushes. What? It's Jeb's. Jeb's. That's what is it? Jeb's. Jeb Bush. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's me again. Thanks for being here for this episode. Uh, if you like what we're doing, it does cost us money to do this, uh, and so just think about that. You know, that's it. Uh, I'm kidding. No, uh, we have Patreon supporters, and it really helps us to make this show possible. Honestly, we're so grateful for everyone who listens to the show, uh, but there's uh, there's people who um, want to make more of it happen, and so they financially support the show, and, and you get a lot back for it. You get our private Discord uh, where we chat every day. We're hanging out and just getting to bond and hang out. We also do live Zoom hangouts for our Patreon supporters. You get exclusive merch. Uh, it's a good time. There's a lot, there's a lot in it for you, um, and and it's a lot in it for us because we get to know you better. You know, you're not just a, a number and a stat board or whatever, but you know, you're our friends and we appreciate you a lot. So consider doing that. Um, if not, then you can listen to this dumb little ad because that's how we're going to get money from you. <laughs> we're going to leech from you either way. We're going to get paid. We're in this for the cold hard cash, baby. <laughs> Anyway, here's an ad. How do they how do they get it though? I realized I forgot to put a CTA in mine. Oh, damn you were doing gum it. Yeah, they can text Tillin to six six eight six six. Thanks, Jaren. So this I mean, so this thing is like destroying the the coastline of this yeah, it's lake. ripping apart the coastline of the lake. You've got this massive whirlpool in the middle of this it. is going to leave a huge hole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the oil rig is just <laughs> flipping and rolling around, yeah. ripping things apart. The boats are getting the boats are starting to get sucked into the whirlpool as well. Yeah, it's it's, it's There's a, one skier out there. <laughs> it's like you guys are not going to believe this way. This way, bro. This is crazy, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, back underground. We haven't seen him since though. <laughs> You can still hear him screaming. Oh, this wave, bro. I can't believe this wave, man. It's wild. Dude, <laughs> you getting this on tape? It, we, I but he's VHS. Louisiana, so it'd be like, the Calabunga or whatever. <laughs> that, he's like, whatever <laughs> the. Calabunga. We did this rave in the lake. Calabunga. All right, so it uh, drains into the salt mine. Meanwhile, yeah, meanwhile in the salt mine. Everybody's rushing, trying to get out of there. Finally, the last group of miners makes it to the elevator and to go up. And they by see now the water is waist water. deep. Yeah, uh, uh, and so they they get out and they ride the elevator up to find that the lake is over half empty. And they're like, "What happened here?" <laughs> what did and the drilling do? company is also like, "What, what happened, happened here? Oh my gosh! Who did this?" The lake just like what is going on? We have no idea. We're going to get to the we're going to I don't want to say to the bottom of this. <laughs> yeah, cuz that sounds insane. That sounds like we're jinxing it. But we're going to But we are going we're gonna to get, get we're going to gonna find out. We're going to we're going to we're going to dig deep. We're going <laughs> to <laughs> We're going to This uncover. story has too many holes. <laughs> we're going to go all we're going to go down every layer. Yep. Yeah. Uh, look through every tunnel and uh, un- overturn every rock. To figure out what happened here. It was probably the miners. some people's life mission had you know <laughs> is different stuff. This is mine. This is yeah. We're going to know. Um, 
Uh, right after our lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, by the end of the day, yeah, the entire lake drained and there's just a massive crater in the ground with a big hole in the middle of it. Um, and the shoreline was radically Do we changed any pictures of this. Uh, yeah, we, the, the shoreline was radically changed from, uh, uh, a shoreline. Yeah, from things ripping into it. Holy so here's the bottom of the lake. Cow. This is from the 80s, so it's a little strange looking. Uh, this is still higher quality than a lot of the images you use. And let me see. So I'm fine. Do with we it. have? Oh, hold on. Um, Back to the graph. And the uh, where did I put that? I thought I got this one here. Here is uh, this is during the draining, um, kind of early on in the draining process. Somebody. Got their helicopter. Got a picture of the of the whirl. Uh, you can you can't really make out the whirl in this. I mean, you kind of can. Um, oh, you can see that it's definitely circling. <clears throat> yeah, definitely you can circling. See the objects. Yeah, and you see the, those are the barges. That Did all those in get there. sucked into the? Yeah, so I think there was thirteen barges on because those the lake. weren't in the image. Yeah, and those I think I think it was nine of them were total losses. Um, a couple of them ended up resurfacing after the event. Um, what is significant is if you look at the the original map. Well, here let me show this one. There's this canal that's running from it that goes out to the ocean, um, and we drain the whole ocean. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was interesting is the the force from that whirlpool was so strong that for the first time in history it reversed the course of that canal and so that canal was then running northward and over the next 40 hours a full week that formed the largest uh, waterfall in Louisiana history temporarily um, and where <clears throat> right on the edge of the lake and so that waterfall started filling backfilling um, and over the course of the next week it refilled the whole lake. The thing is nature's crazy dude. <laughs> nature's like it's like it's like if you think of the earth as a whole the earth is yeah. a person and there's this little mosquito drilling some oil out and then it just goes no and then it's like it's just like refilling refills that spot. Yeah, kind of kind of bonkers. Dude. But what's what's interesting is a, a couple things a couple of significant things were were going on here one okay. um, <clears throat> when they dug you can kind of see it in this graphic uh, they dug and they uh, uh, they dug into the salt mine. Um, yes, and they busted through the salt mine. So water started flowing into the mine itself. Yes, when that happened, it caused the the water, the moisture caused the rock salt to soften into salt salt and collapsed the dome and oh. so the dome began to collapse in on itself and get moisturized into like salt water um, because it got wet and <laughs> so this whole thing filled with that water and when the lake, f when the water from the ocean filled in, it started filling that first, and so filled became this saltwater aquifer. Um, so now it's salt water. So now, yeah, now there's salt water under there because it mixed with all that salt water. But also, it's from the ocean, so it's sal also salt water. Um, so that lake is salt water. Yeah. So that lake refilled and became a salt water lake. It used to be a freshwater lake, refilled with salt water from the ocean um, from that backfilling. Is now a saltwater lake. Here's the significant thing: when they when they dug that hole, that drill was only a few inches wide, right? But the force of when they broke it and then everything started collapsing in on itself, it it got wide, wide. Yeah. Um, so now swallowing barges. Yeah. So now the deepest point in that lake is 200 feet deep. It's the deepest lake in the state of Louisiana, um, because of this incident. Do they consider it a man-made lake? That's actually a good question. I don't know what they consider. I mean, it was there naturally. There are still portions of it that are only three feet deep, um, but there's this Great. drop off in the middle. So careful. What, what do you do if you're a salt miner, though? You know, <coughs> and now, like, what do you know? Like, if this, I guess we shouldn't say if this place flooded, because <laughs> that's happened. <laughs> Not while we've been here. It happened seventy years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
80 years ago? I mean, 70, you, 70 you, years ago? you clean it up and you move on. Um, I guess. Here's a shot of the canal. It looks like a road, um, wow. but there is there's part of the and then the canal is refilling. You see all that water rushing in. Um, uh, wow. And so yeah, this this took about a week. Um, what's significant is it refilled some areas where the it the shore used to be like it filled up further. It filled yeah. up a little deeper. And so now to this day, there's this chimney in the middle of the lake uh, with a fireplace that nobody's bothered to move. Uh, it's just it's kind of like a local landmark. Do they go decorate it at Christmas time? <laughs> <laughs> they swim out there. They probably could walk. It's probably two feet deep. They walk out there and hang some they swim out there. <laughs> Someone still tries it though. It's like <laughs> guys, it's so shallow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just them crawling and dragging their legs, but yeah, it and the um, the ecosystem in the lake rap- radically changed because There's it was a now. freshwater lake. Now it's a saltwater lake, and so the type of fish that are in there is different. The type of uh, plants, like underground plant, underwater plants that were growing in there, are different. Everything about it has drastically changed from. The lake it originally was. Also, it's two hundred feet deep, um, and there's a, <laughs> there's a bunch of barges and stuff at the bottom. Uh, uh, after this happened, they were like, "Hmm, that was weird." You guys want to try to explain what you did there? Uh, the government said that. That was oh. the, that was a quote from the government. The government was like, "You guys." The got- oil rig was like, "God did it." <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was Jesus. <laughs> it was a warning. God said. God said, "Don't drill." God said, "No more drilling here." Yeah. He said, he said, that's where I hid the Ark I've, of the Covenant. I've <laughs> I don't want you to find it. <laughs> he told me he came to me in a dream and he said the salt miners are about to find the Ark of the Covenant. Flood I need it. you to drain the lake and <laughs> the salt mine. I know it's going to be hard for you to believe. <laughs> that's a crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but I got these golden goggles that God if gave you believe me. it. Text four friends. <laughs> God's not dead. God's <laughs> not dead. Uh, yeah, so they went to court. Uh, and uh, everyone was like, it's the salt mines fault. It's the it's the drillers fault. Uh, what it c- came down to is they looked at all the evidence and they said that <clears throat> there's a lot of things at play here. One, um, there wasn't really any good maps of the salt mine that were publicly available to sure. the um, to the Public. Texaco to the Texaco contracted company that was sure. Um, and so they used they used what they had to try to map where this the salt mine was to make sure that they weren't uh, going to dig into that and they were off the, the, the map was off of where it said they were going to be on top of that. The engineers but they were accurate <laughs> according to the map that they had. No on top of that <laughs> the engineers math was wrong and so they were off according to that map as well. Great. So the map itself was off to begin with and then they were also off because their math was also wrong um, and uh, <laughs> and then there was the fluke accident of this thing getting stuck and popping the the salt mine. So uh, the depth of the salt dome was they were wrong on that as well. So there's sure. a lot of things where a lot of different surveyors yeah. made mistakes and they all came together. Those mistakes all came together to create a bigger issue. So they basically were like like no one's really at fault here, but they were like but Texaco since you're the biggest company involved, we think you owe everybody money uh, and so <laughs> Texaco settled outside of court um, and they gave uh, diamond the diamond crystal company uh, let me see. Uh, Two Moe's Southwest gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Moe's. They gave him two Texaco gas station gift cards. <laughs> Here, guys. Yeah, you can't use them on gas though. You can use them on like, yeah. uh, like burritos, like snacks, and stuff. <laughs> uh, no, they gave him they gave him thirty two million dollars um, to the Diamond Crystal Salt Mine Co. Because the salt mine ended up having to close. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, your job is yeah, gone. Their their mine's done. So yeah, uh, and they gave um. 12.8 million to the botanical garden that you saw on the map because they were right on the shore and it ripped the garden to shreds. Um, and so Sweet. they got 12.8 million million dollars. And then there was a bunch of other smaller settlements of people who had homes in the area. Or yeah, that person's chimney on the thing the house yeah. get yeah. taken care of or well, I mean the chimney's still there, uh, <laughs> but they they got a settlement for the, the yeah. whole ordeal. Like we're going to give you what's the cost of your house is about, you know, three hundred and Two thousand yeah. dollars. All right, we're gonna give you three hundred. Yeah, because you still have a it. chimney. Yeah, you still have, and the chimney. From what I hear, chimneys are the value of the home. If you can go grab that, actually, <clears throat> yeah, you should. You should salvage that. You can walk out there and get it. Yeah, yeah, it's not that deep. 
trust us. And, and oh, there's yeah, no my, reason. My home has a like, salvage title. <laughs> so, uh, and so they they paid a out salvage deed. <laughs> a salvage deed. Um, so yeah, they paid out a little bit uh, to all the people who were in the area, um, like who had property in the area, lost right, right, stuff right, right. in the event. But miraculously, nobody was injured in the whole ordeal. Um, except for that one surfer. <laughs> except for the yeah. Or um, so yeah, a massive destruction. Um, the lake is now 200 feet deep, the deepest in the state of Louisiana because uh, someone did their math wrong. Um, uh, and uh, it, there's also just a bunch of junk at the bottom of the lake. Um, yeah, and dirt and rocks and trees and barges barges. If you if you if you're doing something where you're bringing a barge to a lake this big, and you're not just a barge, thirteen barges. Yeah, like you have thirteen. Like there's not enough room for all these barges. That your math's already this wrong. This looks like the bathtub when you were a kid. There's too many barges. There's yeah. not enough room for all these barges. You got to get one of these barges. Honestly, most of these barges out here, you can have one barge in this lake. How many times are you going to say barges? <laughs> say one barge lake. Barges, barges. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't have this many barges in yeah. your barge lake because otherwise someone's going to barge in and tell oh you no more gosh. barges. No more barges. In this I heard barge to this lake. day <laughs> there's a barge at the bottom. Yeah. You know what else is at the bottom? What's at the bottom? A very tall Russian woman. <laughs> 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 Marching straight across With the bottom. Short face. <laughs> Nelly. Loose. <laughs> and she's going straight for that skier. Yeah, yeah, she's trying to catch him. Who is still whirlpool yeah, around still, down there. So she's just He knows how deep the salt mine is. Yeah. And he's like He's like, I'm gonna get to the bottom yeah, of this. <laughs> Fiddle on. Whatever he says. Hey, uh, thanks for checking out this episode. Uh, if you liked it, you can subscribe or watch some more episodes or some clips. Um, but then I, I need to make this like 20 seconds. My producer said it has to be longer, so I'm just going to keep talking for a little bit. And is this long enough, Connor? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here.